Hi, Joe. Um, thanks for seeing me today. I wanted to um, talk to you about some enhancements we have uh, made on Kelly Blue Book today um, and why we've made those enhancements. Um, you, as you know, we've been really focusing on new cars and the experience people have on Kelly Blue Book looking for new cars and doing reports and reviewing and evaluating uh, w what they should pay and what their cars are worth. So I want to go over the new car experience with you on Kelly Blue Book that we've done. So um, basically the reason we've done this, um, made, made these improvements, is we want to move consumers from that sort of research uh, part of being on Kelly Blue Book into getting more information on the dealer, what the inventory is available for that new car. And then what's in it for you, Joe, the dealer, is it builds more value around the price of the vehicle that you're charging other than price. Why are you a great dealership? What are your reviews? Where are you located, et cetera? What, you know, what inventory do you have? This all fits perfectly in the consumer decision journey because it kind of closes that gap. I'm now, you know, I, I've, I'm aware of what's out there. Something's happened to make me want to buy a new car. Now I'm considering and evaluating what car to purchase so it fits right in that that sweet spot so let's let's kind of go on that journey together as i share with you the new features so i've already typed in my zip code 60546 up here and i see here why should i pay, what should i pay for a new car and i do know what new car i want to buy so that's perfect that's where we want to we want to start so i'm going to click here and i'm going to select what make of course a ford and what model I want to look at, and that's the focus. And I'm going to click Next. I know that I want a 2014 Ford Focus. I already said I want to buy a new car, so I'm going to select the 2014 Ford Focus. Now I know I want to buy a sedan, so I'm going to click Sedan. And I know that um, as far as what model, I'm going to look at the S because I'm cheap. So I'm going to click the S as the style I want to look at. Then I get to select what trim levels I want. But I see this fair purchase price button here, and I want to see what, gosh, what should I pay for it? What's fair? So I click there. It's going to bring me to this really cool sort of market report page here, and it's going to give me uh, information about that 2004 Focus, there's a sneak gauge here about the fair purchase price. There's your dealership. And when I go down, it's going to give me a market report on lots of things I can look at. I can look at pricing. I can do comparisons. I can look at photos. and I can look at five-year cost to own, specs, Kelly Blue Book's review, consumer reviews, ratings, incentives. All that's going to be available on this report. And I can scroll down and see lots of other things I can look at, dealerships I can go to, more information about the fair purchase price. So what is the fair purchase price? This really cool gauge gives me the invoice price, Joe, that you paid and what MSRP is, what the OEM says that you should pay. And somewhere in between is this great sweet spot of the fair purchase price. What is that? Well, when I click on this blue button, it lets me know that that is a price comprised of current marking conditions in my zip code, vehicles that are available, what the demand is, and what the seasonal buying trends are. And that's what that fair purchase price is. I can click this what others um, have paid button and it'll let me know how many people have purchased a vehicle in the last 30 days within the 50 mile radius and where they fit in that um, wheel. Another really cool thing is there are in this market report considerable details about that for fair purchase price that you can look at. It breaks it down there. The next thing I want to show you is the highlight, um, what we call, sorry, the, um, the new car highlight unit. So that's where you, the dealer, gets to highlight your dealership and what you have available based on my search criteria. And this is only going to be, um, it's only going to be down to the year, make, and model, not the trim level. So for you and your dealership, it'll let me know that you have 32 units available 
based on what I searched. And I can click and get details on what's available. Again, it's all inventory, not down to the trim level. So once I get here, I can then see here's your dealership and all the great reasons I should buy from you and your ratings and reviews. And then here are my 32 matching models. So once I click there, I can see, oh, okay, he has other colors available, different trim levels, and what the different price points are. So those are the two things I really wanted to show you today. And again, just to kind of recap, what the fair purchase price on Kelly Blue Book is and what that's all about, how we come up with that number. And then what the highlight unit is, how we can feature your dealership right under the price, the fair purchase price and what, what you have available in your inventory. So thanks for letting me show that to you. I hope that you see that as a value uh, on Kelly Blue Book and how we can move cars out of your inventory into the consumer's hands. Have a great day.